it's emotional, you know. Scoring the last minute goal I mean, for my team, for my family, for the fans. It's amazing, you know. Um, I just, just the love for the game, you know. Fighting to the end, last second. As you can see, we fought to the end and we wanted it more. And you're standing with all these people in your community. This is the first time West Noble has won a boys soccer regional title. So what does it mean to do this for the West Noble community? You know, I'm proud. I'm proud. We can we all come from a small town to these big schools. You know, we show them what we got. Um, it's a big honor to represent our, our, our town, you know, put them on the map. This is how we do it. We might be a small town, but we have a lot of heart. Yeah, very aggressive game, very intense game. What was it like in that final minute scoring the game-winning goal? No, it was intense. It all came down to who put the ball in the net, and um, we were the ones to put it in first, and we finished it. Have you had a game where you've had such a tough time even getting scoring chances? I mean, as far as... Maybe once or twice, but I mean, this was a tough defense, and I respect that. Can you talk about the job they did, just keeping you from even touching the ball? They did the good. Right? They did good. They were on my back. They were tight. They didn't let me touch the ball for most of the game, but, you know, I, I, I let loose in that one, and I took the chance, and I finished it. Can you take us through that last goal, what you saw and how it developed? Oh, I, I saw we had the ball by the left wing. I asked for it to send it through. They sent it through, and I... I just took the three defenders on the left and shot it in the bottom left corner. And like I said, you know, right now, it doesn't matter where, how, where we go. I mean, we got, we got it. And we stay on it, and it doesn't mean anything. We stay proud of them. But like I said, I give 100% credit to my players. And like I said, you know, the, the game is tough. And we understand, you know, that's aggressive, but that's the way it is. I mean, what we can do about it, you know? I, I lose my, one of my best players, but... Hopefully they they can enjoy this celebration. What's this about as aggressive a game as you guys have played in a while or at all? Well, like I say, you know, I think they kind of since it's the first time that we do on this level, mm -hmm. so that I kind of frustrate a little bit because they they play better. I mean, they touch the ball better than like tonight. I mean, I don't know what can I say. I mean, I try to tell them I mean, and put it up, and you know, it seems like it, they don't. I mean, they don't take it or understand. Uh, I mean, they wait too long. You know, because last time we touched the ball a lot of better, and you know, and we thought if we do that, we can finish the game right away. But I mean, finally, the final thing is thanks God for the victory. What did you see on Uriel's goal there at the end? Or can you describe what you saw from your Well, like I said, you know, Uriel been working so hard. I mean, there's nothing that we can ask, and I mean, he knows, and uh, we pull him out because we know he he was tired. So I know if we give him five minutes, it's gonna be goal for him. And that's right there, you know, he showed you right there. So I'm the stand for that and I'm, I'm taking, you know.